Hi Sagis, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Sagittarius Tarot and another beautiful daily oracle reading. Today is the 12th of November 2023. What a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Now let's see what the numerology behind this day, first of all, indicates for us, right? Um, so starting with the um, calculating the date in general, right? So we'll have 12 November 2023, that gives us 12 plus 11 plus 2023. If we calculate all the numbers individually, 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3, it gives us again number 12. I'm really loving all these November dates because every time we calculate them, we end up getting the same number of the same day, um, which is really like one, like this is to tell you really, like this is one of the most phenomenal month ever in the life of Sagittarius. And all them Sagis will be looking back at this month, particularly this year, and see how instrumental and monumental it played in their life journey. This is amazing. Now, let's go back to the number 12. And 12, uh, the number 12 combines the energies of 1 and 2, which is partnership and creation and new birth. And so, for that matter, it sort of envelops sort of like everything, you know, like the start and the partnership, which means number 12 evokes an energy of success in various aspects of life. And how beautiful is that, right? Since we're talking success in various aspects... We got to do this. So beautiful. I am loving this, loving this, right? Number 12, success in various aspects of your life. Physical success, fitness success, health success, emotional success, mental success, financial success, friendship success, happiness success, sex success, success, right? Love it. All right. And since we're talking about this various aspects, like this global feeling of success, let's reduce number um, the two numbers of 12, right? 1 plus 2, it gives us number 3. And number 3 is the number of creation. It is, if you follow all my previous readings before, you would see all the different meanings behind it. If you didn't, go down to the playlist, go there, watch all them like videos and see more about number 3 in my dailies. And so number three is the byproduct, right? If, we're, if one is creation and if two is partnership, number three is the byproduct of those. So it's creativity and all these things. And we discussed earlier also that it would mean Trinity and the triple of things and three people involved. And now, today, we're even rising higher. Since we're talking number 12 about success in various aspects of life, three also is an energy that embodies omnipotence. And what is omnipotence? It is the ultimate, greatest power accessed everywhere. That means you are made from the same fabric of the stars and the universe. You are one with the universe. The universe is infinite power. And you are omnipotent because you are in direct contact with the universe. Love it. Triangle, everyone. Triangle. That's number three, right? Triangle. Trinity. Wow, wow, wow. I am loving this. Now, since we're talking triangles, shapes, all that, I'm going to be picking for you a card from the daily um, sacred geometry cards for the visionary path. Okay, so daily oracle card from the sacred geometry cards for the visionary path. Now... Let's see what will you get. Oh my. <laughs> Sorry, could not contain myself. Could not contain myself. I mean, look. What, were we, what was I just saying with the triangle? Come on. All right. Fire keepers. Already, I'm seeing a lot of fire. A lot of you, Sagis. The fire is back, baby. Well, first, let's read the number, right? Number five. This talks about number five in Fire Keepers. And so number five essentially is a number of like personal freedom, right? Because five is leisure, is hobbies, is passion, is all of that. So 
it really embodies the energy of personal freedom. And so this card evokes already that energy and is asking you to look at areas in your life when it comes to your personal freedom. That means where's your time management going? Um, is it well balanced and allocated? Are you setting the real boundary, the right boundaries at work with your families, with your friends, Sarah, in order to have a balanced life? Are you giving pleasure and leisure and work and relaxation and alone time and socializing time and all these like different aspects of your life, the right, um, and you know, time, energy, cautions. Also, um, since the day talked about success in various aspects of life, right? Um, you need to tend to all these various aspects in order to ensure success in them. And so that's really amazing. Now, you remember that the day was had an energy of 12 in it, and we reduced that to a number three, which was omnipotence. And so if we combine number three, omnipotence, with number five, which is personal freedom, we get number eight. And our number eight is a number that is all about power. Number eight is a number is that is all about power and strength and all that. And we also discussed it so many times in my daily readings, if you watch them. Now, as you know by now, number eight also represents the symbol of infinity, right? It's eight. And so it is really talking about this infinite, infinite, infinite Ertang. Wow. Let's come, so let's tie everything together before we look deeper into this card, right? Number 12, success in various aspects of life, reduced to omnipotence. And so the success in various aspects of life is going to make you feel as if you're omnipotent. You're going to feel on top of the world. I'm going to feel like I'm powerful in my health. I'm powerful in my finances. I'm powerful in my um, relationships. I'm powerful here. I'm powerful there. Power, power, power. You combine that with your personal freedom, then you're going to have the power to prioritize personal freedom if it got lost, you know, mail throughout this past two weeks. Maybe you got too busy, you forgot to take care of yourself, maybe you got too chill, you forgot to end your projects, whatever. Life is balanced, right? Like, you gotta have time for gym, for walking, for beauty, for skincare, for working, for hustling, for making money, for humanitarian causes, for, um, so friends, for a long time, for meditation, for spirituality, yeah, la, 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 right? Rounded life, rounded life, full, well-rounded life. And combine that with infinity, this is going to tell you that the universe here is providing you with that infinite power, right? Remember, you are the source, you are one with the source. And so you have infinite power to tap into in order to tend to all that. So omnipotence is no longer impossible for you, right? It is something that's very possible, something that is very achievable. And it might seem a lot for other people, but with you, Sagis, a full-rounded life is more than possible. You are omnipotent, my dear Sagis. I am loving this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, let's look at this card that we got, the Fire Keepers. And first of all, I'm going to be choosing for you one of the keyword uh, like words um, associated with this card. And you are going to repeat with me three times to evoke that energy. I'm sure you must know what that keyword by now is. If you didn't know, I'm going to give you a hint before we say it. This, if you look at the fire keepers, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. And fire is wands in the tarot. That's eight of wands. I don't know if you know the traditional card. The eight of wands is all about, right? Action. Say it with me three times. Action. One more time. Action. Action, y'all. Action. It is time for action. Long are gone the pondering times, the um, strategizing times, the manifesting times, the ideation times, the research phase, the etc. Now it's time for action. So you want to have that job? Go get it. You want to work less? Send that email. Set your boundaries. Say no. Work stops here. You want to, I don't know, ask for that raise? Ask for it now. You want to draw boundaries in a relationship? Draw them now. Whatever it is, the time is now. You already had plenty and ample of time to strategize, to 
think, to create and decide what to do and to, you know, just state all those ideas in your mind, now is time for action. Let your fire out. Whoo, Sagis. Fire, you're on fire, baby. This Sagis on fire. I am loving this. And so, fire has been long associated like with spirituality, with cleansing. Also, it helps, um, you know, it helped like humans with physical survivor at some point. It's also used in ceremonial spiritual um, rituals. Fire is transformation. Fire is energy. Fire is sexuality. Fire is strength. Fire is everything. And fire is represented like the symbol of fire, right? Is the triangle. And... Um, the triangle usually is action and it is in masculine energy because feminine energy is usually like de depicted as a receptive energy and uh, masculine energy, um, it has a, a tip at the top. So it's like, um, like uh, what do you call it? Like initiative, action, um, um, offensive uh, not defensive, uh, go-getting, making it happen, the works, okay? And so, as, we, as you can tell, there are three triangles here, right? Um, like, there's the initial fire here, and then there's the spiral of life, like everything in life goes like this, goes like this, and um, you can tell that the, the hands not only are getting, like, you know, they're getting... It feels like as if they're heating, getting the heat from fire, but also they're open. And I think they're channeling the fire into the body. So let in that fire, right? And you can see the light coming from here. And the triangles, the three triangles represent like, uh, like body, mind, and soul, right? Body, mind, spirituality. So this is for you to be saying, and this was, this this really goes hand in hand with the number 12 that I was telling you about, like success in different, in various aspects of life. Because like today is all about you achieving all of that, like the whole, the whole thing, right? So you've got to be successful on the physical level. That means well-fed, well-effed, <laughs> well-hydrated, uh, um, well-rested, um, also making money, um, shit ton of money, uh, wealth, right? All of these, um, the first triangle. And then second, you gotta also take action to protect and nurture your mental health because it is essential for it to continue making you that dough, making that wealth, controlling your body, trying to like sculpt it, trying to do all these things, right? So that's the um, mind level. And once you um, also take action about that, you need to nourish your soul because if we, because we are at the end of the day, like souls, right? Incarnated in bodies, we are consciousness that is taking this human body as a host in this lifetime. And so one, first and foremost, we are a soul, but we are in this body. So after we take care of our body, after we take care of our minds, we got to take care of our soul, our spirituality. We got to nurture that in order to feel that we have a purpose um, and we are accomplishing our purpose in this lifetime. So this will tell you to um, like this will help you ask yourself the following questions in case you don't know what to ask. Right. Because this is talking that. Not only you have all this energy now to go forward with and taking action, but also, like I said, since the strategizing and the planning is done, if you detected during that gestational period, like in the last two weeks, areas, whether it's physical, mental or spiritual, where there was like an imbalance, today is the day to rethink all the, no, sorry, wrong word, not rethink, to take action on the things that you saw, that you thought, that you discovered in the last two weeks. Right? So, am I living my bliss through my chosen vocation? Does my job contribute to the welfare of those around me? Right? Does my job contribute to, the, to my, the welfare of my own needs? Am I engaging my mind? Is what I'm doing like makes me fulfilled on a soul level? Is my work contributing to the goodness of humanity overall? Um, 
right? All these questions. Which reminds me that also fire is used to protect communities and all the things. So there's a community vibe here. And with the eight wands too, this tells me that your line of work um, or your actions or your fire doesn't just stop there, uh, like where you at, which means whatever you do, as much as you think you're doing it for yourself and which you are, right? You are doing it for yourself, of course, but it affects the world around you. So each one of us, no matter what we think, like a lot of people think what they're doing, whatever, like it does not have an impact in the world. No, it does, right? No matter what you do, you are bringing that fire into the world and making uh, the world a better place. So if you don't feel that, you should ask yourself the question. And then also, this is telling you that sometimes you are fulfilling your purpose, you're just not aware of it because maybe you're tired, maybe you're drained. So you didn't nurture your soul enough to be able to ponder on this question. And so I'm here to tell you that what you're doing matters, right? You could be a comedian and you're making like the world laugh, right? You can just be pretty, right, to look at and just people, it soothes them to look at you. Um, you can be a spiritual person sharing there with them and like comforting other people. You could be a good listener. You could be, what I'm trying to say here is like, what well, just by being you, you are already changing the world. You don't always, like we don't always need big labels in order to implement change. That is not to say that the lawyers of the world or the doctors of the world or the engineers of the world or like whatever, like big labels are there. They are not valid. Of course, they're valid and they have a role, but each one of you have a role, right? You can just be fun to be around. And so all the heavy hearts around you feel lighter and that's your mission, right? So, but you, you got to feel this. You got to know this. And so that's telling you, like, if you're not feeling this, recalibrate, see, like, help your soul remember that you have, that you, it's part of your purpose, right? And if it's not, then change, then, then do something else. And... So, yeah, if you have felt that like your fire was dimmed in a while and you forgot why you're doing the things you're doing or you got depressed or you got sad or whatever you went through, like try to figure out like why that enthusiasm, right? Right. Like it, it went away or why your fire was dimmed. And now you're going to figure that out and you're going to do something about it. So maybe maybe sometimes it's just a matter of sleep. Maybe you didn't have enough sleep lately right? So you didn't dress the body. Maybe you were too stressed and you weren't, um, I don't know, going out in nature or enriching your eyes or being um, alone or whatever. So maybe you did not take care of your mental health. So maybe that's what you need to tend to now. And that's it. That was the solution. Maybe your purpose, feeling like what you do matters. So no matter, no matter what it is, today you're taking action towards that and rectifying and the second you do that, all eight F and hands are on loose. All triangles are lit. Your fire is back on. Lit, 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 lit. Your fire, baby. Your fire, right? The second you do that, you're back in business, and you're gonna burn brighter, longer, harder than ever. I am loving this. All right, now let's remove some coins and give space to the random. Um, coat of the day that I'm going to pick for you. Let's see what you get. Drum roll. <laughs> loving it. Loving it. I'm loving today. Like I'm all over the place, but I'm loving it. Look what you get. Like, you cannot make shit like this up, right? This is not to be like, I'm not like self-promoting here like, Ooh, I'm tapped in. I'm like a medium and psychic. Ooh, -hoo, I can do that. No, no, this is not like for me patting myself on the back for it. This is just for you to see that everything really is connected. So an incident in itself doesn't, I'm not saying it doesn't mean anything, but when you combine things, then the magic happens. It's like when we got the number three for the day and number three is a triangle and trinity, and then we got the, uh, a card with the triangles in it, and then we get a coat that says actions speak louder than words by St. Anthony of Padua and already the affirmation that I chose randomly for this card prior was actions. This is all to tell you that everything is connected. If I took this alone, 
it would mean what it means, but you know, this is just like a confirmation from the universe, right? This is not me asking for a pat on the back. Um, although I'm gonna give myself a pat on my back, not by for figuring this out, no, no, not at all, but for the effort and for the perseverance and for the amount of work I put in to do this. <laughs> Kissing myself. All right, I love this. So Saint Anthony of Padua says, actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. And this is not to diminish words or because I think words are wonderful, words create change, words are everything. But this is really telling us and focusing that there's time for words. And today, actions speak louder than words. So today, start all the words that you talked about. Now it's time to implement them. It is time for you to be back on fire again. I love you, my dear Saji. Stay blessed, aligned, and connected. Thank you so much for liking this video. I love seeing your likes. It's few for me. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done that already, and if you're watching this video and you're a new subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. You'll be lighting my oven. You'll be lighting my stovetop. I'll be on fire for you, baby. Please do. I love you. And I love, of course, hearing about all your comments, reading them keeps me going sometimes in my darkest hours when I want to throw in the towel and say, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I read a lovely comment because, you know, life is a journey and it's a roller coaster of emotions. So sometimes you're not always on top of things uh, emotionally. And so when I read a comment or two, I'm like reminded by my purpose, right? This feeds my top triangle and I'm like, oh, this makes sense. Yeah, this is why I do the things I do. It's because to make a difference in someone else's life. So that's really gives me confirmation that like my third triangle is lit. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for sharing the word about me and sharing my videos on your social platform. Word of mouth to everything. I love you. Love you so much. Sages. Go out there. Light up everything. Mm.